Hi, my name is Tanya Wright. Uh, my business is called Harriet. It's a hair care line for women with naturally textured hair that's curly, coily, kinky, dry. Uh, I am an actress on Orange is the New Black and uh, spent seven years on HBO's True Blood as Deputy Kenya Jones. Well, my business started uh, as a result of my own journey with my naturally curly hair. My hair has been the bane of my existence for most of my life. And um, in 2010, I decided that I was going to sort of wrap my arms around my hair. So I just did a lot of research on hair. Uh, I became obsessed with all things hair, I spent hours and hours and hours googling everything about hair, hair and spirituality, hair and diet, um, hair and products, hair and ingredients. Uh, I found a wonderful community on YouTube uh, about hair and natural hair, African American women sharing and uh, swapping ideas and stories and, and tutorials about great hairstyles and great products. Um, and I decided that I had a unique voice to offer this community. Harriet is a simple soapless system designed for women with naturally textured, curly, coily, or kinky hair. Um, it is a soapless system. There's no soap at all in the line. Uh, right now we have three products. We have a co-wash, which is a conditioner and wash all in one. It's a very creamy, latherless cleanser and conditioner. The curl cream, which is what I have in my hair right now. Moisturize, shines, and defines the curl without the sort of crunch that we ladies know a lot about, or the flakiness, or the dry white flakes, or any of that. And the oil blend, which is probably the hottest seller, um, it is a, is a combination of cocum butter, which is a, 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 a fruit from India, and marula oil, which is a very dry, lightweight oil. It gives you a very glass-like shine, almost like a silicone, but without all the um, bad things that silicone has. So they're all natural products. And, um, and also this book, I Found God in My Hair, is a collection of spiritual principles I learned from my hair, like patience and resilience and letting go, and how I, how I apply those principles to my everyday life. The biggest challenge I think for an entrepreneur is what's uh, in their mind about their business and about what, they can, what can be done, and most of all is their belief in themselves. So, um, you know, somehow when you believe in yourself and, you know, it took me five years to develop this concept um, and I did it very quietly. Um, but by the time I was ready to launch, I was quite confident and I felt very strong about the product that I had and about how I was going to bring it to market. Um, so I spent a lot of time with myself asking myself the very difficult questions about entrepreneurship. Um, I spent a lot of time sacrificing things that I like to do, uh, things that make my life comfortable. You know, be willing to sacrifice for indefinite periods of time, which is not something that most people are willing to do. Um, but, you know, if you believe in yourself, you have to believe in yourself um, unflinchingly and unfailingly. Um, my experience is that when you believe in yourself, it is a lot easier for people to believe in you. Columbia is a great place uh, in terms of resources, in terms of wealth of resources, in terms of quality of resources um, that, that was really able to uh, help me to develop this concept from, you know, literally, like I said, you know, five years ago is when I had this idea and I just got to market four months ago. Um, so it was, uh, it's been a great process. I would say to other entrepreneurs um, facing the life of an entrepreneur is first you have to really ask yourself the very difficult questions. Being an entrepreneur is not for everyone. Being an entrepreneur is not for someone who has a great idea. Um, and, and, and that's it. Um, you have to be willing to sacrifice a lot. Probably the thing that you love the most um, in order to get this done. You have to ask yourself, are you willing to do that? Saving money and, you know, using your own money at first is very important to do um, because how can you ask other people for money if you're not willing to invest in yourself? Figure out what your goals are and, and, um, and be true to those goals. Honestly, be true to those goals. And, um, you know, have fun. 
you know, you're doing this ultimately so that you can provide for yourself, you can provide for your family, you can provide for your community, but you also want to make sure that you do something that you're going to love even if, you know, things are not going exactly the way that you'd like um, and that you'll have the patience and the fortitude to withstand um, what you need. Listen, I've launched my business um, in May of 2015. We launched on HSN. Um, we'll be in Whole Foods in two weeks. <laughs> and we just signed with a distributor to go nationwide. In five years, I want Harriet to be pretty widespread in the world, not just in the United States, in the world. Um, there are specific uh, places that I'm very, very interested in. I'm very, very interested in South Africa, very, very interested in France. I'm very, very interested in um, Britain or London area. You know, people, anywhere where there are people, multicultural people, obviously, you know, South America, lots of countries in South America. Um, anywhere there are people who have this kind of hair, um, anywhere where there are mixed people, um, multicultural people um, in the world. Yes, the world. I'd like to be world, worldwide in five years. <laughs>